Hi, I'm Buzz Lagos. In this week's analysis, we'll look at Minnesota's first goal by Ben Spees in the Loons 2-0 victory at Edmonton this past weekend. Next, we'll look at a clip from the Fort Lauderdale-Miami game. Fort Lauderdale's Minnesota's opponent this coming weekend. Let's look now at the monitor to see these two clips. Bromsky with a touch, Vicencini now. Cruz turns. Venegas. And that's a goal! Ben Spee scores for Minnesota! Let's go back and get a little analysis going of what, what happens with this play, some of the really positive things, and some of the good luck things that happen in these situations. With your, The breaks sometimes lead to goals that uh, are important for winning games. First of all, Julian just, just a great penetrating pass. Notice when he knocks it through the midfield, one, two, three defenders now are beaten with that pass. Enables Danny Cruz to make a turn and a good positive turn up field. And we talk about the versatility of Minnesota's team. Cruz was an outside wide midfielder, tucking in the middle of the field as a midfielder right now. And why can Minnesota do, do that? Because they have such dynamic players in Kevin Benegas and Justin Davis. Kevin on the right side and Justin on the left side. So Cruz being inside opens up that channel for Venegas to fill that slot. And so Cruz makes the run for the middle of the field. And then the second touch lets him down. Notice he's just too far away. An easy pickup for the defender. And the defender tries to play it wide and inadvertently hits a perfect pass to Kevin Venegas. Kevin just hits an inside cut. And notice this, these two defenders are occupied with uh, Christian Ramirez and, uh, and also with approaching Kevin Venegas. And just opens up that nice channel for Ben Spees to make that run. And Kevin's able to see that space in between the defenders, sees Spees' run, just knocks it in there. A little, oh, looks like a little toe touch, a slight deflection, puts a pervert Ben Spees' one-time shot where the defender reaches the block and it just goes through his legs. And again, that, that sequence will blind Matt Van Oakle, the goalkeeper. He just can't quite see the ball. And so when you see the ball tuck in the far post, Matt, Matt Van Oakle isn't even reacting to it because he couldn't see it. It was you know, blinded by, he was blinded by the defender trying to block that shot, which the defender should try to do, but Spees was able to just cut it back enough and just knock it through the defender's leg to get a, get a great goal and a nice sequence overall. A bit of a reset here. Alexander, can he break free? Angulo, cross, low. And the strikers cannot convert. They keep it in, however. No, they do not. An opportunity there. So now let's uh, take a look at Minnesota's opponent this coming weekend, the Fort Lauderdale Strikers. Uh, in this play, we see uh, Fort Lauderdale's Hernandez with the ball, getting his head up, you know, lots of space, lots of time, and he touches the ball inside, and he's going to look for a nice penetrating pass. And those, again, the, the, the penetrating pass, he's able to split the two defenders, and that one pass beats these two defenders to Alexander. Alexander's able to take a turn, run right at the heart of uh, Miami's defense. It's kind of crowded there. He also doesn't want to play the ball forward at this moment because he's worried about the player being in the offside position. So he decides to get it wide and stretch out the Miami defense. So he knocks the ball wide. He finds Angulo on the flank with lots of space. Good touch for it, head up, seeing what's going on. And we suddenly see the three runners pushing up right at the six yard box, far post area. PC has the, a little bit beyond, you know, drop back a bit. So it's a nice triangle shape for the three defenders. Uh, I'd like to have seen maybe a little more positive runs by them, but overall uh, they're in pretty good position. And uh, Angulo gets the ball through to Alexander. Alexander gets a little turn in. He finds Mykon with his touch. Mykon's reaching to, to hit that ball, and you notice he doesn't, it's just a little behind his, his left foot. He couldn't quite get the power and strength he'd like to have on it. It was more in front of him. He probably could have whacked a better shot, gotten off quicker, and not have it blocked, as we'll see, blocked by the defender. And the defender's able to clear it wide and uh, defuses that particular attack. But we just look, look at the team Minnesota plays this coming weekend. Fort Lauderdale has very good balance in this attack. They've got you know, the three in the middle of the box. So three in the box right now. Pineda's at the top of the box, ready to pounce on anything that pops loose out there. Uh, Moore is out wide, containing things on the, on, the, on the outside. Anything that pops out to the flank. So, again, a good positive attacking team. And that's what we're going to see uh, in Fort Lauderdale this weekend. So Minnesota's going to have their hands full defensively when Fort Lauderdale comes to town this Saturday, which is going to make for a very exciting match. Minnesota's home opener this weekend is against the Fort Lauderdale Strikers. Next week, we'll look at a highlight from that game 
and we'll preview Minnesota's next opponent, the Red Hot Cosmos from New York.